The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. Hey kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. Kids, welcome back. We are in my office. This is the office of JJ Roto Geek. In case you couldn't tell, so this is where I work. I do work from home, but anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of a different video today. Um, I had one of my uh, buddies online ask me. He goes, "Could you go over how you make uh, boat decals?" Because I was looking at getting a, um, uh, a vinyl cutter, and I wasn't really sure. You know which one to get and could you do something with that and i do all my own boat decals and have for quite a while and i'm not only going to show you my decal maker and just a quick overview of how that works i mean they're they're all all these decal printer cutter dealies are pretty much the same uh i use my when i lived in ohio i used my buddy don's for quite some time i can't remember the name of it now um it was good it was good and then i moved here i'd get my own and uh i ended up getting a cricket uh, Cricut Explore Air 2, whatever. Um, now, I'm going to show you a little bit more than that. I'm going to show you how to pretty much make a decal out of anything on the internet. You don't have to subscribe to any of Cricut's crap. Um, I think their stuff is really dumbed down. I hate their software. Um, you, they ask you to purchase fonts all the time, which is a joke because you can download. I have, I have like 7,000 fonts on my, my PC, <sighs> you know whatever so i'm um, not overly impressed with cricket and the other thing too is when you're trying to figure out the best way to make these decals there's always some chick dressed in flannel in minnesota doing a freaking video about these things and it, it, it's crafts and spices and you know pumpkin charms and shit like that which is fine you know i'm not knocking it you know if you're a scrapbooker or whatever you use these things for um <laughs> But we're going to do the guy's version of this thing. So, getting to it. I hooked this up uh, to my computer via Bluetooth. I don't actually hook it up. Because I only use it pretty much 100% for boats. Or the occasional funky sticker for one of my cars or something. Or the mowers. But, yeah, that, that's basically it. I can't even remember how much it costs. You have to look it up. But it's a good one. I mean, for, for what we do with boats, it's good. It's Cricket Explore Air 2. You hit this little button and it's like a spaceship damn thing opens up it does tracing and all this other crap with a pen which i've never even done and then the needle exchange is really really easy and the the needles are reasonably cheap uh if it wasn't just for their goofy ass software i would give it a, a five star but because they want you to buy shit all the time and subscribe to crap all the time, which to use the software, it is a free download. You don't have to do any of that, but it's just like, come on guys, quit pushing. I paid the 200 bucks or whatever for this thing. Give me the damn software, leave me alone. Anyway, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boot up. Uh, let's just pull up, uh, actually, I'm gonna switch over to screen recording now. Okay, and it's gonna start screen recording. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a, find a picture online. Okay. So let's go. Um, I I don't know. Let's let's do a boat gig. Let's say Johnson. Oops. Engine decal. I'll make an outboard. Okay. And we're gonna do a picture. And let's see. Let's just find something cool here. Nothing. Uh, let's just, just do something simple. So we're going to find a picture that we like online. And uh, let's see. That's one of those purchasey ones. Just anything here. Here's a seahorse. It's pretty cool. Mm, there's a Johnson. So it can be as easy as this. You can, uh, let's see, right click, save image as. And that's a JPEG. Fine, we're gonna do that. We'll just save that to our old desktop. Bam, done. Then I'm going to use a simple editor. Just right click on it, hit edit. It should pull up paint. And I'm just gonna trim this so it's just one. 
Okay. Crop. Save. Done. Now you'll see it changed up here to uh, a single. Now we're going to download another program, which I already have, but we call it Inkscape. Okay. So call Inkscape. It is a free, um, free open source vector graphics editor tool. You, you, I've been using this for years. This is good shit. You can use it for laser cutters. You can use it for CNC. You can use it for picture editing. You can use it for making SVG files, which is what we're going to do. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and so anyway, just type in Inkscape and download it. Do download it. Blink. Download it. Okay. So I'm going to, mine's already installed. If you can't figure out how to install it, you got bigger problems than this. So we're going to hit an Inkscape. And it does take a second to boot up, even on a reasonably high powered beast here. Give her a second here. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's a common. Takes a minute. I've been doing a lot of work today on my. There we go. Okay, so this is what we've got Inkscape. Pretty simple. Okay, we're going to just simply drag this Johnson Outboards to here. All right, it doesn't really matter how big it is. Um, I don't care. This is just for, we're gonna make it look, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna hit trace bitmap. And then you will see this screen pop up right here and just hit okay. That's all you gotta do, close it out then move the one out of the way and you can tell which one's been trimmed or svg'd converted you can see how the box around this one's a lot narrower and a box around this one's a lot wider this was the original so we can just delete that and there you go and that's an svg so now what we're going to do is we're going to file save as i'm just going to save it to the desktop a normal good old fashioned Inkscape SVG file. And then we're gonna call that Johnson, whatever, John. Sun, save. And now it has come up as that. So now we're gonna open the crappy Cricut software. Difficult to say. And where is it? It's probably gonna auto update. It auto updates every damn time you open it. It's a pain in the ass. And the thing I really don't like about this, cause I'm a computer guy and Ugh, is every time it updates, it says, oh, product sign in. Come on. All right. So here we go. We're on. And it's going to be fairly simple to do. We're going to go home. We'll just hit canvas. Easy. Nothing to it, right? Then we're going to hit upload. Upload an image. You can either drag and drop it or you can browse. So we'll just browse to our desktop. And Jay Onsen, there it is. Now I didn't pick a very big, good picture, but that's okay. It, I should have looked at it better. That's okay. And then we can literally hit add to canvas. Just click on this, hit add to canvas. There you go. And that's it. You can print it. Now let's do another one. That Johnson's kind of cheesy. Let's go, um, uh, let's see. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll say Smurf Silhouette Clip Art. Now we don't have to deal with any of this other stuff. And we go to Images, and we go to, oh, hell, let's just do this octopus. It's kind of cool. Save image as. We're going to do the same thing. Now that one's a wet P. I don't feel like converting a wet P. Um, do this one. Ah. Sometimes it's hard to find. I'll do a little hottie smurf out here. See, again, the detail on this one isn't very good. Uh, let's go. Nintendo, there you go, beer barrel, beer bonging, make a beer bong, I hate beer, if you can run your bike off it, I'll drink it, but, all right, now, in this case, it won't let me save it as a picture, it saves as a WEP FP or something, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just go function, 
print screen. And then I will pull up my screenshots over here. Edit. Go over here. And then we'll just take a view, negative, home, select. It's a picture now. Save. Oops, I didn't hit crop, you dummy. <laughs> crop, save. Now it's a picture. And the screenshot resolution isn't too bad. It's about the same. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to go upload. Now we're going to open this back up. Where we go. We're going to drag and drop our little guys over here. And all we're going to do is trace bitmap. Hit OK. Done. I'll do this, this, this. Delete that original image. File save as. We'll call it beer bomb. Okay. Now we're going to upload this image. Browse, desktop. Let's keep everything simple. Where'd it go? Beer bomb. There it is. Phew, couldn't see. Upload. And that's about it. So now we're just going to take this uploaded image, add it to the canvas as well. And that's it. Now, if you're going to be printing a bunch of them at the same time, which I do, and you, with that, that other program, you can also make it so it's, it's tighter edges and all this other stuff. But I'm just doing this for an example. You guys can study that yourself. Um, what I'll do is I'll highlight everything I want to cut. Hit attach. Done. Make it. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do, uh, switch back to the head cam here. You have a cutting mat. Joink. And you got your vinyl. I get my vinyl off Amazon. I just type in 12 by 12 vinyl sheet. Waterproof. Um, it's usually all waterproof, but it is vinyl. You just stick it to this thing and you're good. Okay, switch back to the screen recorder. <clears throat> so this is what we've got. We're going to hit continue. And mine's going to connect via Bluetooth because I don't like pissing around with cables. So right now we're going to switch back to the head cam. All right. Now what you should see is once this is done uploading, you should see this flashing because nothing's loaded. Take your squared vinyl, upload it, and that C should start blinking. Yep, there it goes. And just hit that. Walk away and come back. Not sure if anybody really wants to see this. Oops. My, I need a new mat. This thing's pretty nasty. There we go. I buy these mats off Amazon. I buy the light um, grip because the stronger grips, when you rip the vinyl off, it makes it curl. I don't like that. So I use the light grip, but you know, you get on the carpet, dog hair, all that shit. It tends to get weak over time. Um, so yeah, it's doing the Johnson in the top corner. And then uh, I'm just going to turn this off and be right back. So it's done. Can't see anything. Hit eject. We'll peel this off. Grab us some scissors, and there's our old Johnson. I know you can't probably see this in the uh, camera. And we're just going to peel this off. Of course, normally never have a damn problem with it until I film something. There we go. Just peel it slow. And I put my cutter setting for this usually on vinyl plus. So it's like between vinyl and iron on. Now, the chicks in plaid always talk about weeding. You have to weed the decals. Okay. That means cutting out the shit you don't want, like this. I don't know if you guys can see this little bit here. But I would just take a razor blade. I don't call it weeding, I talk I call it taking scrap off. <laughs> there you go. Same thing with this guy. You can call it weeding if you want to.
but yeah, the smaller the letters, the more careful you have to be about peeling things off. Like I just screwed up my horse. No, I didn't. It's there. But this one wasn't a very good uh, resolution anyway. And we can pick these weed, these off. Get your weed eater out. There you go. Now to put these on, this is how I do it. You can buy, they recommend a special tape and all this other crap. And I bet you I ain't got any in here. Son of a gun. I will be right back. So I use good old fashioned blue painter's tape. Eh, looks like the wife and kids are home, okay? Very simple. Take some tape, put it on top. I usually try to find a couple lineup points to make it so it's straight, but we're not gonna worry about that. Do that. Peel it back carefully because sometimes your tape isn't as strong as that. Then make sure your surface is clean. I'm just gonna put it on my desk for now. And peel it back, try to peel it back as tight as you can. Yeah, I should have cleaned the surface first, that's okay. Perfect, uh, I lost my horse, Family that's okay. Home. So uh, that was really a fast overview, but again, if you have any questions or whatever, or want to get more in depth with it, but it's very simple stuff, but that's just how I do it. Use normal tape. Don't buy anything fancy. If you want to get the decals off, um, heat them up with a hairdryer or um, lightly, lightly with a heat gun. Don't get your heat gun too close to your boat. Bad things will happen. Um, <clears throat> that's really about it guys. So if you need anything, let me know. Bye.